What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 76 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at fonts and window skins. First, we're going to look at where all the fonts are for our game and how to properly install them. Then afterwards, we're going to look at how we can install a custom new font. Then afterwards, we're going to showcase how we can change fonts mid-message for our game. And then after that, we're going to look at window skins. We're going to look at how we can get different window skins to match different types or styles of different Pokemon games. Then afterwards, we're going to mess around and make our own new window skin. And then finally, we're going to change our arrow settings for our messages. With all that said, let's get into it. So the very first thing that you need to know is where the fonts are for your project. This is actually very easy. From the root directory of your project, there's the fonts folder right then and there. And what you want to do if you're first starting developing for Pokemon Essentials, you want to double click these and make sure that they're all installed. You're going to want to also do this if you install any custom new fonts. And I'm going to do that right now, actually. So what I've done is I've browsed the web and I found this cool looking unknown font. And the name of this font is just Anon. So what I've done is I've downloaded it and I've got it right here in my tutorial folder. And what I want to do is I just want to copy this, go into my game's fonts folder, and paste this right here. So I've already gone and installed this, but the name of this font is Anon. And once again, you just want to click on the install button up here in the top left. So now what we want to do is we want to go into our game folder and we want to make sure that this custom font that we've added to our game is properly loaded. And the way that we would do that is by going into P screen underscore load. I've already got it pulled up here in the script editor. But from the settings script, you want to go down quite a ways to pscreen underscore load. And you also want to go down quite a ways within the load script, but it's right here. And here is where you plug in the file names and the names of these fonts. The names of these fonts are going to come into play in just a little bit. But you'll notice that the name of our font was unknown.ttf. So you just want to properly type all of this in. Let me just go and double check real quick. I believe that that was the proper name. Just in case, just because I'm paranoid, what I like to do sometimes is just highlight the whole thing with rename and copy and paste it. But I believe I got it right. There you go. Now the name of our font is Anon. If you want to double check, what you can do is go into your control panel and go to fonts. And I'll pull this up right now, actually. So here I am looking at my control panel, and you can go to fonts. And here you can see all of the installed fonts. I have a lot of installed fonts, but right here is Anon Regular. And when we look at it, we can see there's all of our unknowns. And we don't need to add the regular bit at the end. We just need to type in Anon. If you ever uh, are wanting to double check also what the name of your font is, you can also double click the TTF. And it tells you the font name right up here in the top left. It says Anon. So we should basically be good to go. However, I've been running into some errors myself um, due to Pokemon Essentials not properly um, no, like understanding that I have these fonts installed. So what I've been doing is setting notify to false and going and just commenting out these error messages. For some reason, everything works fine, but the errors are still thrown. But uh, I've been getting results properly just by doing this. As long as we set up our fonts to be installed, then we can disable these messages and things should work out just fine. So now what we've done is we've actually installed a custom font that can be used in our game. Now let's go change our settings so that way this font appears. What you can do is when you're in the script editor, just do control shift F font and then go to the sprite window script here. And this is where we're going to be spending the rest of our time in this tutorial because this is the most important place when it comes to setting fonts and window skins. As you can see here, right up at the very top, we can change our font name. So let's change our font to be Anon, which we specified previously. Now let's just save our game and run it, and let's see what it looks like with all of our crazy unknown fonts. Oh my gosh, that's hard to read, but what do you know? It works. Look at that. We're in Lapit Town, and when we try to talk to somebody, they're going to speak to us in these cryptic messages. Yep, that's hard to read, all right. Well, that'd be kind of cool if we could have a standard font but then switch to use the unknown font at a later point in the game, maybe like for a message for people to decode. Well, hot dog, that's actually very possible and very easy to do. And it's actually already defined in the base essentials events. Isn't that something? Let's really quickly switch back to power green because that's the font for Pokemon Emerald. This is a little bit of a preview of what we're gonna be doing later in the, tutor in the tutorial. 
But if, if instead of power green, we typed in something else, maybe we could use another font from another game. I don't know. We'll see in just a little bit, but check this out. What I've done is I've set up an event over here where she says, hey, you can change the font min message. And then she runs this. It's FN equals Anon. Can you read this? And then with the breakpoints slash FN. So essentially it's open caret FN equals to change the font of a message. Then the contents of your message and then open caret slash or forward slash FN closing caret. So this is actually defined in the player's house as a base essentials uh, event. Here they talk about ways that you can change the text bold, change text colors, change the font, you can change the size even. There's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with fonts in your messages, and I highly recommend you look at this event if you want to delve deeper and learn more about fonts for your game. What we're going to be doing though is we are going to be having a character switch fonts as they're talking to us, and it's going to be pretty dang cool. They're changing their font to Anon. Now, let's boot up our game and let's see. Here she is. Look at that. Right now our messages are legible. We can read everything. It's not all unknown font. She says, hey, you can change the font and message. That's really cool. Oh, can you read this? Hey, what do you know? I can. Cool, right? That is very cool. That's very cool. That's awesome. So if you want, and you want to be creative and get crazy with it, you can mess around and have a lot of crazy cool new fonts in your game. You can go to dafont.com and download a bunch of crazy different Pokemon fonts. Hell, we could get this Pokemon Classic font. We could get Tyler's Pokemon where we could th make things look like Dratini. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, man. Anyway, there are a couple more things that we said that we wanted to do in this tutorial, so let's start doing those now. The next thing that I said I wanted to cover was window skins. Um, I find it a bit frustrating that by default, all of the things in our world look like Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, but whenever we talk to something, oh, we can't talk to that. Whenever we talk to something, this doesn't necessarily look like a Fire Red Leaf Green um, text background for our message. Thankfully, this is super, super duper easy to edit. First thing that I would recommend that you do is you go in back into your game folder, then go to graphics, and then you just want to go to the window skins folder here. And look at this, we have a ton of amazing window skins. By default, it's using one of the ones from Heart Gold Soul Silver, but if we wanted to, you could do Emerald, Fire Red Leaf Green, you could even do Ruby Sapphire, there's Platinum, like lots of options from Platinum. There's a lot of fantastic options here. But let's see what it looks like if we do Speech EM. Let's see what it looks like if we try doing Pokemon Emerald. And that's defined in this script here, once again. Text skin name is how you set the, the background for your message. And we can just do EM. Then you'll notice immediately after that is Choice Skin Name. If a character displays choices, then this was the background for those messages. We can mess around with that as well by going back into our Window Skins folder and you could use choice four, choice five. By default, it uses choice one, but let's make it so it's green. I like green, it's a pretty cool color. Let's try choice four. And let's make it so that way, when we talk to a new event, they show choices. Let's just make a berry real quick. Insert, and I'll make them say choose. And right here, we will do show choices. Yes, no. And let's add a third one called maybe. I don't know. Cool. And when you select them, nothing will happen, but this is just for testing. Now let's get back into our game and let's see what it looks like with speech EM as our background. Wow, look at that. We got a nice green background here for our text box. And we've also got a different green border for our choice boxes. Let's talk to this guy. Wow, pretty nice, am I right? Pretty nice. Now, let's edit it some more, so that way instead, it looks like fire red and leaf green. Thankfully, all of them are named very, <laughs> in, a, in a straightforward manner. If we want it to look like fire red leaf green, we just do speech FRLG. Easy peasy. Now, let's run it once more and take a look at what our fire red leaf green window skins look like. I bet you they look pretty cool. Hey, it's perfection. That's my jam. However, this brings up another thing that we need to edit, doesn't it? If we look at the very bottom right of our game, we'll notice that there's this little gray arrow pointing down here. 
if you recall, in Fire Red Leaf Green, when you are talking to somebody and the arrow appears to advance the message, it is a red arrow that appears at the end of our message. And thankfully, this is also very easy to edit in Pokemon Essentials. So let's edit this now, so instead of a gray arrow in the bottom right, we have a red arrow at the end of our message. Let's close our game down once again and let's go back into the script. And it's actually just right here in cursor mode. And there's a there's a lovely little comment here that we can read as well. And uh, yeah, uh, if we wanted to display it at the end of our text, we set cursor mode to zero. Perfect, now it will display at the end of our message. If we want to display in the bottom right, we would do one. If you want to display at the lower middle side, you would do two. So yeah, you can mess around with this and see what looks best for your game. However, since for our game, we want it to look like Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, we're gonna set this to zero. Now let's run our game and see how this looks. We haven't resolved the issue yet of the red arrow, but now it should appear at the end of the message. Hey, what do you know? That's starting to look a bit better. This is starting to look more faithful to Fire Red and Leaf Green. And we haven't even changed the font yet. Right now, that font was still the Pokemon Emerald font. Let's change this real quick. Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green uses Power Red and Green. There we go. Paste that in right there. Boom! This is going to be looking fantastic in just a little bit. Now, there is one more change we need to make. And I will provide this graphic to download in the description. Essentially, you want to replace a graphic in your game called pause.png. This is the new one that we're going to use that I made using the fire red leaf green arrows. And let's take a look at the existing one real quick. You want to go into your graphics folder and then you want to go to pictures and you want to scroll down until you find pause.png. So this is the current graphic that our game is using. What we could do is just rename this as backup so that way we still have it and it's not lost. And then we can just take this new one, copy it, and paste it into our pictures folder. There we go. Now we have pause.png. So now when we run our game, not only is it using a fire red leaf green font, our, immediately on the front end we can see that there are changes that look a bit better, in my opinion. We can see that it's using a fire red leaf green font up there in the top left. We can talk to her, look at that. And the red arrow was appearing at the end of our message. We even have the fire red leaf green window skin in the background there. And now she's speaking to us with the unknown. That is so gosh dang cool. Goodness gracious. I think that this is awesome. Now with these quick changes, everything in our game looks more like fire red leaf green. The window skins are using speech FRLG. We're using the fire red leaf green font. We've got the red arrow displaying at the end of our messages. And we have now opened a massive door for possibilities where we can plug in custom fonts and have people speak in different fonts mid message. That's like mind blowing. That's so cool. Theoretically, in your game, you could set up a cave where there's special hieroglyphs that lead to clues to advance. Like maybe you want to set up like a Reggie Rock event and he says, like, there's there's clues that you do with this unknown stuff. I know, it's cool, right? Anyway, I hope that this tutorial helps you install new fonts in your game, change the window skins for your game, customize stuff. Um, I guess there is one thing that I said that I was going to do that I haven't done yet in this tutorial, uh, and it's very easy. All you want to do is go to window skins in, like, Photoshop or something, and from here you can edit these and make your own new ones. So, for example... What if instead of speech FRLG, we did a color overlay, and we can just call this like speech FRLG2. We did a red hue to this. You can make your own custom window skins this way. You can edit them and just edit them in the scripts. So there we go. I've just made a red one called speech FRLG2. Let's go into our game now. Boom. And like I said before about how events changing the... Um, fonts you can also change window skins mid message as well so i will leave a link in the description to look into how to do that but like look at this and just like that now we've got a red one we can mess around with our own window skins in photoshop and edit anything it's fantastic this is blowing my mind this is so cool <laughs> i love this little edit 
but it looks so much better now with our different font messages. Or at least it looks better to me. Anyway, hopefully it looks better to you as well. Hopefully you're as excited as I am about plugging in new custom fonts. I think it's really freaking cool. And I think you're really freaking cool as well if you made it to the end of this video. Once again, I gotta say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. All you guys are awesome, and hopefully you learned something cool here. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe and like the video and such. And be sure to follow me on Twitch because I've been streaming a bit more there. And be sure to have a good one, you guys. That's right. This is the end of the video. And uh, yeah, until next time, I hope that you all have a good one.